Hello, can you hear me? Yes. All right. And how are you doing today? My name is Teacher Angel. And what's your name? My name is Mina. Mina. All right, Mina. And how old are you, Mina? I'm eight years old. Eight years old. All right, Mina. Uh, where do you live? I live in Ving City. Ving City. And that's in Vietnam, right? Yes. All right. Okay. And you will be having classes with me. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, Mina, when I say hi, you say hello. Hi. When I say hi, you say hello. Okay. Hi. Hello. All right. Hello. Hi. All right. Very good. Very good. Again. Hi. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Very good. When I say hi, you say. <laughs> you say hello. Can you follow that? Hi. Can you say? Hello. Oh, very good. Very good, Mina. High five for high five. High five, high five. Put your hands. High five. Okay, very good. Good job. Okay. Okay, are you excited for our class tonight? Okay, I'm going, we're going to give you a test and teacher Angel will help you answer the questions. Okay? Yes. Okay, that would be great. Are you ready, Mina? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, if you're ready, say this one. Yes. Say, can you do this? Yes. Can you do this? Yes. yes. I am ready. I am ready. Point. Follow me. Follow Teacher Angel. I am ready. I am ready. Ready, ready, ready. Can you do it? Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> what? Okay, try. You do it. Yes, I am ready. Ready, ready, ready. Can you do that? <laughs> okay, Mina, try it, try it. Say yes. Mina. You don't like doing it? Okay, it's so fine. But... Can you say at least, yes, I am ready? Can you say that? Yes, I am ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Do you feel shy? Are you shy? Mm, a little bit shy. Oh, a little bit shy. Okay, don't worry. If you're attending classes in Pantando, you have to be, um, you don't have to be shy. You don't have to be afraid. Teachers will help you, okay? Okay, so put a smile already. Smile, give me a smile. Okay, smile now. All right, so let's start, Mina. Yes. Okay. Going to start with a test. Do you have pen and paper, Mina? Do you have pen and paper? Pen and paper? Yeah. Do you have pen and paper? You're going to write something? Okay, prepare for something so that you will know what to answer. All right. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. Okay, good. So this class will take for almost like 45 minutes and you're going to answer questions. Okay. For example, task one, it's about vocabulary. 
we're going to look, read, and choose the words. There is one example. Okay. These are long and thin, and you eat them in a bowl. What's your answer? Noodles or a milkshake? Then your answer oh. is noodles. Understood? Yes. All right. Can you read number one? Yes. When you see this person, he or she looks at your teeth. Very good. What's your answer? A sports center or a dentist? Um, a dentist. Very good. So definitely you go to a dentist. Very good. Number two. You can go on you can go on scary rides with your friends here. Okay, you can go on scary rides with your friends here. What's your answer? Where can you go a to a fun, scary ride? A fun fair. A fun fair. Okay, that's correct. Why do you answer fun fair? Does it look scary? Do you know what this one? Do you know what is it called? Uh, no. A Ferris wheel. You call this Ferris wheel. All right. So that's very tall, right? Very high. That's very scary. And roller coaster. Number three. Read number three for me. You can play games like tennis or basketball in this place. Okay, good. You can play games like tennis or basketball in this place. Where can you play that? I mean, where can you do that? A sports center. A sports center. Very good. Very good. Okay. No mistake so far. Nice one. Number four. This famous person acts in movies. Can you read it again? This famous person acts in movies. Movies. This S. Movies. All right. Good. What's your answer? I don't see the picture. You cannot see the picture? Yeah. I mean, no screen. You cannot see the picture. Um, noodles, milkshake. You cannot see this one. Thank you, Andaga. Okay, can you continue? Can you see eight pictures for the answer? Yes. Okay. It's in the eight picture. This famous person acts in movies. It's one of the answer here. Just one. The answer is in this picture. Film. A film star. Okay. It's a film star. Why? Because there are a lot of people take pictures of them, right? Famous. And another word for movies is film okay yeah do you understand so it's a film star very good number five this cold drink sometimes has fruit in it okay this cold drink sometimes has fruit in it what's your answer a um, milkshake. Very good. It's a milkshake. Okay, very good. Um, Mina, you got them all correct. Very nice. Very smart. So perfect so far. Perfect. Let's go to number two. Task two. Listen and write. Listen and write the letter in each box. There is one example. Okay, um, I'm going to hide first our video, okay? Okay, um, you're going to listen to this one. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Mary played a game at her friend's party yesterday. She had to find pictures of food in different places. Where did she find each of the pictures? 
Did you enjoy the birthday party yesterday, Mary? Yes, thanks. We played a great game. Did you? Yes. My friend's mom and dad hid pictures of food in different places around their apartment, and we had to find them. What did you find first? A picture of a cup of coffee. It was on the door of the elevator. Okay, so that is Can the... you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Okay, Mina, did you understand the instruction? Yes. Okay, so you're going to listen and there will be different pictures here and you have to locate where you can find them. Okay, we continue. Yes. Were the pictures of food easy to find? Sometimes. I found the picture of a pancake quickly. Where was that? Over a mirror in my friend's bedroom. I walked in and it was there in front of me. What did you do when you found something? We had to write the name of the place on some paper. The next thing that I found was outside. Was it near the door of the building? No, it was on the balcony. Really? And what was it? A picture of a plate of noodles. It was behind the plant. Well done. There was a picture of a milkshake. I love those. Me too. But do you know where I found it? Where? Next to a dirty old machine in the basement. Ugh. That wasn't a nice place then. No. And the picture of cheese was in a funny place, too. Where was that? In the shower? No. It was in a pair of old ice skates in the hall cupboard. Really? Yes. There was one more picture outside. Where? On a seat? Well, it was in the garden, but it was in the flowers. What was the picture? It was of different kinds of vegetables. Well, that was a good place for that picture then. Yes, it was. Now listen to part three again. Were the pictures of food easy to find? Sometimes. I found the picture of a pancake quickly. Where was that? Over a mirror in my friend's bedroom. I walked in and it was there in front of me. What did you do when you found something? We had to write the name of the place on some paper. The next thing that I found was outside. Was it near the door of the building? No, it was on the balcony. Really? And what was it? A picture of a plate of noodles. It was behind the plant. Well done. There was a picture of a milkshake. I love those. Me too. But do you know where I found it? Where? Next to a dirty old machine in the basement. Ugh. That wasn't a nice place then. No. And the picture of cheese was in a funny place, too. Where was that? In the shower? No. It was in a pair of old ice skates in the hall cupboard. Really? Yes. There was one more picture outside. Where? On a seat? Well, it was in the garden, but it was in the flowers. What was the picture? It was of different kinds of vegetables. Well, that was a good place for that picture then. Yes, it was. That is the end of part three. Okay, Mina, do you have answers already? Uh, is no. it hard? Is it hard? Yes. Okay. 
Let's try to listen for one by one. Find them. What did you find first? A picture of a cup of coffee. Okay, the cup of coffee. I mean, that's the example, right? That we have here. Okay, let me just... It's the cup of coffee. I mean, behind you. And they find a cup of coffee in the front of the elevator door. It was on the door of the elevator. All right. Can you see the letter F? F was that? Over a... Okay, and for the first one... Were the pictures of food easy to find? Sometimes. I found the picture of a pancake with... Okay, what is the first picture found? It's a picture of a... Picture of a pancake. Okay, pancake. And where did they find the picture of a pancake? Um, a, in the bedroom. Okay, in the bedroom, right? Glee? Where was that? Over a mirror in my friend's bedroom. I walked in and it was there in front of me. Okay, in the friend's room, in front of their friend's mirror. So letter A. Very good, that's correct. Very good, that's correct. Put a check. Next one. What did you do when you found something? Some paper. Next one. The next thing that I found was outside. Is it near the door of the building? No, it was on the balcony. Really? And what was it? A picture of a plate of noodles. It was behind the plant. Okay. Mina, what was the picture found? What is the picture found? I have an idea. We already have pancake, right? But what is the second picture? The noodles. Plate of noodles. And where did they find the plate of noodles? Balcony. Balcony. Balcony, right? Balcony. And where do you think, what letter do you think is balcony here? Do you know what is balcony? Uh, it's letter D. Picture. Yeah, letter D. Okay, that's letter D. And in the balcony, it's behind the plant. That's what being said, right? Do you have the picture of balcony, Mina? Do you know what is balcony? Okay, maybe let me show you a picture of balcony. Do you have an idea? Moment. It's quite slow. Okay, I'll just get back later. <laughs> okay, as plate of noodles in the balcony, that's letter D. Okay, the next one. Well done. There was a picture of a milkshake. I love those. Me too. But do you know where I found it? Where? Next to a dirty old machine in the basement. Ugh. That wasn't a nice place then. No. Okay, what's the next picture? It's a picture of a... Eh? Picture... Picture of Jake or not, eh? What letter? Oh. It's a C. Okay, letter C. But what picture first? Is it vegetable? Is it cheese or milkshake? A milkshake. Milkshake. And your answer is letter C? E. Yeah, what is this again? It's called? Um, it is called? Uh, basement. Basement, right? In a dirty old machine. So very good so far. Okay, perfect. Okay, listen again. And the picture of cheese was in a funny place too. Where was that? 
in the shower? No, it was in a pair of old ice skates in the hall cupboard. Really? Yes. Okay, what's the fourth picture? The picture B. Oh, wait, uh, define the picture of A. This one first. The picture of cheese. Okay, that. And where did they found this one? Where did they found? Where did they find? Um, in the picture B. Okay, in B. So, what do you call this one? Uh, skate. Ice skates. Okay. So, in the hall, in the ice skates. All right, between the ice skates. That's good. And last, number five. There was one more picture outside. Where? On a seat? Well, it was in the garden, but it was in the flowers. What was the picture? It was of different kinds of vegetables. Well, that was a good place for that picture then. Yes, it was. Okay, where is the last picture located? I mean, what is the last picture found? It's vegetables, right? Uh, vegetables. Vegetables. Can you read it again? Vegetables. Vegetables. Okay, good. Where did they find vegetables? The picture of the vegetables. What letter? Where did they find vegetables? The picture of vegetables. Letter, do you know the answer? No. Okay. It was in the garden. It was in the garden. Do you know which is garden in these pictures? But it was in the flowers. In the flowers. Picture eight. Okay, letter H. So it was in the garden. In the flowers, right? So vegetables. Okay, very good, Mina. You got the perfect high five. High five. Give me a high five. All right, very good. Perfect score. Okay. Next one. Listen and tick. There is one example. What was the matter with Tom yesterday? So this is also like listening. Okay, you have to take note. I'm sorry of the answers, okay? Part four, look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What was the matter with Tom yesterday? Why weren't you at school yesterday, Tom? I had earache, Mrs. White. Did you have a temperature too? No. Are you better today? Not really. I had a lot of chocolate for lunch and now I've got a stomach ache. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. Okay, did you understand what to do, Mina? Yes. Okay, so you're going to listen to the to the question and look on this picture which is the correct answer A, B, or C. All right. So for the first yes. example, it's letter A, Tom. What happened with Tom? He has what? He has an earache. Earache. Okay, very good. Let's go to number one. One. Which man is Lily's dad? My dad's got a beard. Yes, I can see him, Lily. And he's got really curly hair. No, that man's not my dad. My dad's hair is straight. Oh. Okay. What's your answer for number one? Um, uh, picture C. Okay, letter C, picture C. 
the one with beard and what is the hair it's the, the hair is straight and the hair is straight very good letter c nice one let's go to the next one two what did peter see first at the zoo did you have a good day at the zoo peter yes thanks my favorite animals were the pandas great but my sister couldn't wait to see the penguins we went to see them first and what were the funniest animals the kangaroos okay mina what did peter see first at the zoo um Peter see penguin first. Okay, Peter saw the penguins first. Can you repeat your answer? Peter saw. Peter saw penguin first. Okay, the penguin. So that is letter A, right? A. Okay, very good. So that's letter A. Um, but what is Peter's favorite animal? What is Peter's favorite animal? Um, uh, panda. The pandas, right? And what they thought about kangaroos? What did they say about the kangaroos? They were? They were funny. Funny. Very good. So you really listened. Very good. Very good, Mina. So we're going to now the question number three. Three. Where is Lucy's comic? Dad, where is my comic? I don't know, Lucy. Did you have it in the school playground? Yes, but I brought it home again. I read it on the bus. Uh, is that it? Where? On the dog's blanket in the garden. Oh, Lucy. Okay, where is Lucy's comic? What's your answer? A, B, or C? Um, uh, that's a B. Okay, B. And where is it? In the? What's this? What do you call this one? Dog case. Or dog house. You called it dog house. What do you call this one? Yeah, dog house. Okay, so very good. Answer is letter B. Okay, let's go number four. Four. What is in the picnic box? What's in that box, Mum? It's our picnic. I love picnics, Mum. Can I have a sandwich, please? Yes. Do you want some of this salad, too? Yes, please. And can I have some chicken? Sorry, I didn't bring any today. Okay, what's in the picnic bags, Mina? A letter B. Okay, B. What is it? It's a sandwich. And? Um, tomatoes. All right, but what do you call them together? Tomatoes, uh, the vegetables, what do you call them together? It's a? It's a vegetable. All right, okay, it's a salad. Okay, what do you call it? Salad. Salad. Okay, it's called salad. Okay, very good. Let's go to the last number. Five. Why are the girls laughing? What are the girls doing in the living room? Why? They're laughing. Are they watching a DVD? No, and they're not playing that new board game. Let's go and look. <laughs> they're dressing up. Yes, <gasps> in my old things. Okay, why are the girls laughing?
to go are dressing. Okay, they are dressing up. And what they dressed up? Whose clothes are that? Who owns the clothes? Are you able to get that? The woman, right? The woman owns the clothes, right? So what's yeah. your answer? A, B, or C? Mm. La, la, A. Okay, very good. So another perfect score, Mina. Give me a high five. High five, please. High five. High five. Okay, very good. Good job. Good job. Perfect so far. No mistakes. Very smart. Okay, very smart. Okay, for this time, we're going to look at the pictures and read the stories. You have to write some words to complete the sentences about the story. There is an example. Okay. Um, you're going to read this one and this one. You're going to answer it. Okay. Can you read this one going to the zoo, this paragraph? Mina, can you read this paragraph, this story? Going to the zoo. My name is. Can you read? Can you start that way? Yes. Okay. Good. Start reading. Going to the zoo. My name is Claire, and last week. Our class went to the zoo with our teacher, Mr. White. Mrs. We White. Had to, Mrs. White. We had to go to school at 7.30 in the morning to catch the bus to go to the zoo. The bus to the zoo. Mm -hmm. It was a long drive to zoo. To the On zoo. On the bus. On the bus, some people sang songs, and Mr. White, Mrs. Ate White, her, Mrs. White, ate her breakfast. When the bus stopped at the zoo, everyone was asleep. Wake up, everyone! Mr. White called. Mrs. White. Mrs. White called. Let's see the animal. Okay, very good, very good. You really know how to read and how to read them. Uh, but kind of careful, um, this is Mrs., right? Not Mr. Again, how do you pronounce this one? Mrs. White. Mrs. 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 White. Okay, again, Mrs. 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 White. Okay, very good. So kind of remember. Okay, for this first picture, Claire went blank with her class so the answer is to the zoo right then the second example mrs white is the name of claire's blank and the answer is teacher okay next one number one question mrs white had blank on the bus mrs Again, Mrs. White had blank on the class, on the bus. What's your answer? Um, had a breakfast. Okay, Mrs. White had breakfast on the bus. Is that your answer? Yeah. Okay, very good. That's correct. Mrs. White had breakfast on the bus. Number two, Claire's classmates were blank when the bus stopped at the zoo. Well, classmates were asleep when the bus stopped at the zoo. Very good. So they are asleep. They are sleeping. And Mrs. White has to say, wake up everyone, let's see the animals. Very good, nice one, very good, nice job. 
Okay, can you read the sentence again? The paragraph first. First, we went to see the penguins. They are brilliant. They were brilliant. They were brilliant. Mm -hmm. I love watching them when they swam and play in the water. My friends Mary wanted to give them her sandwich. Sandwiches. Don't sandwiches. Don't do that, says Mr. Wise. Mrs. Wise. Mrs. Wise, you must feed you mustn't. the animal. You mustn't. You mustn't. You mustn't feed the animal. Okay, very good. You read it correctly. Okay, for number three, Claire enjoyed seeing blank when they were in the water. What's your answer? Claire enjoyed seeing blank when they were in the water. What's your answer? They enjoy seeing um, the swimming when they were in the water. What's your answer? Seeing? Um, swam. Oh. Okay. Can you read this first sentence first? First, we went to see the penguins. The penguins. So, and the penguins are swimming and playing in the water, right? So they were in the water. Yes. So Claire enjoyed seeing. Penguins. Okay, so they see the penguins. So Claire enjoyed seeing penguins when they were in the water. Okay. Okay, Mina, did you understand? Yes. Okay, so the answer is penguin. Okay. Number four. Mrs. White didn't want the children to blank the animals. What's the answer? Miss, Mr. White Mrs. didn't want Mrs. White didn't want the children to feed the animals. Very good. The answer is feed. So they don't Mrs. White don't want didn't want the children to give food to the animals, right? Because that's inappropriate. Yeah. Have you been to the zoo, Mina? Have you been to the zoo? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you love going to zoo and seeing animals? Do you love going to the zoo and seeing animals? Yes. Oh, what animal is your favorite? What's your favorite animal? I like... What? Do you like birds, the lion, crocodile, tiger, elephant, giraffe? What did you see? Which your what's your which is your favorite? I like elephants. The elephants. Oh, they're very big, right? Yes. Oh, I see. You like the elephants. Why do you like the elephants? Because it's big and I want to climb um, on the back of lion. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> that's scary, right? <laughs> lion or elephant? Oh, you want to be on the top of the elephant, right? Well, lion, very dangerous, right? Very scary. So you want to be on the top. So that would be very, very high, right? Very high. Okay. Can you read this, the, this paragraph? After that, we saw the lions. They were my favorite. A man who worked at the zoo told me about them. He pointed at the one of the lion, 
That's our newest lion. His name. His name's Hugo. 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 Again. Hugo. Hugo. All right. Hugo. 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 That's right. He came from other zoos in the big cities. Lost a photo of Hugo and uh, I put them on the zoo. Continue. Mm, on the school website. 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 Everyone loves them. All right. Anything that you don't understand? Did you understand the the reading? Yes. Okay. Can we start answering again? Number five. Clear like the blank best. Clear likes the lion best. Okay, the lion's best. Okay, good. Number six. Hugo was happy at the zoo because he could blank the other lions. Hugo was happy at the zoo because he could blank the other lions. Um, Hugo was happy at the zoo because he could play with the other lions. Very good. Okay, very good. That's correct. That's correct. So he could play with the other lions. Number seven, what's your answer? Claire put the photo that photos that he took of you go you go on on the on a website school website school, school website very good so that's correct okay you got them all correct very nice mina no mistake so far oh you got one mistake earlier that's okay very good okay um it's almost time um it's almost 11 12 and how how are you feeling now um did you enjoy the class so far did you learn something yes all right and for this one, uh, we recorded our video and you can check that out in YouTube so you can see yourself. And hopefully that you will look forward in attending classes in Pantando. We teachers in Pantando will look forward for your attendance, okay? And yeah. is your parents there? So say hi them for me. And this is the end of the class. Thank you very much for coming to class. And hope to see you soon in Pantanda's classes online. And have a great day. Good night, everyone. Bye now. Good night, Mina. Bye, Mina. Bye, teacher. Sure.